The art market is like a big weather system, and it does extend globally. Auction is about 20 plus percent of the business, but auction gets the most attention, deservedly. Attention is up, attention is up. Anybody give me one pound? Bring me one pound. It's the place where you know the price is the market value because someone has paid for it competing against somebody else. It works in two ways. One, a family or a collector or institution decides to sell something and have chosen auction as the venue. The other way is the auction houses, if they're doing their job, are going after those works and making presentations to say, we'd like to sell this for you, here's what we can do for you. So it works both ways. Let's say the auction house believes that it's going to probably make, um, under the hammer, $1 million. They'll probably estimate it at between, you know, um, $800 and $1 million. And then the auction house goes through a rigorous process of vetting the work. The great auction houses, they are standing behind the work for authenticity. So if you buy the, one of those houses, they are guaranteeing that. In the days leading up to the sale, there's lots of preparation. All of that then is brought together in a kind of war room situation in two or three sequences before the night of the event, culminating into the two hours right before the curtain goes up. In the great old days, the great auctioneer, Christopher Burge, the godfather of auctioneers, would have a meeting with everybody else around the table in silence. Only he or she can speak. Against the two of you here, against the telephones, and selling left, foul warning, 30 million. <laughs> and then with a map of the room in front of them, like a quarterback before a game, take it all in, and then go out onto the field of battle. He or she elegantly walks into the rostrum, leans forward, and announces the work, and the bidding begins. And then the auctioneer will speed up the bidding, slow down the bidding. 22 million, 500,000, 23 million, 500,000, 24 million, 500,000, 25 million. At 25 million, 500,000, 26 million. And then sometimes with a very elegant pause, lean all the way over, body out, arched over into the crowd, and just wait, saying, are you sure? And pull one more bit out, take another, and at the right moment, bang the hammer down. So. Uh, the common wisdom is a lot of the, the most expensive works are being bought by individuals who are banging them into storage facilities and waiting for them to flip them or whatever. This goes on, but in fact, it's single digit as a percent. The billionaire, it's most likely that there's a phone call from his PA the next morning to the auction house saying, we'd like to have it picked up this afternoon because it has to be on the wall for dinner. 